Are you worried that a Fed in transition could shake confidence in your optimism? Well, you know, we, we were just doing some work on this. Is I think markets are less tied to the Fed than the narrative that we have that they're ultimately driving everything. But I do think that um, the uh, an announcement about Powell on Friday was kind of a sign from the White House that the, the what we're going to be hearing from the Fed is going to be pretty much what we've been seeing out of Yellen over the last several years. Right, but Jonathan, are the markets underestimating the, um, you know, the withdrawal of all this stimulus? Even if it's steady as they go, this is a huge amount of money that that could actually, you know, just, we don't know what the markets are left with, basically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's no question about it. First of all, you have a funds rate which is so obscenely low that it, it's almost having no <clears> effect <throat> on markets at all. But I think that you're right, Francine. There's a real confusion as to exactly what it means when you unwind this QE, and Carl is probably better to answer this th than me, but I can tell you from an equity investor point of view, I don't think that we fully understand exactly how to calibrate on, you know, one move you have something with the Fed funds rate, another move you're having something with the Fed balance sheet, and I think this is going to be a bit uncomfortable for at least equity investors as they try to calibrate these two things.